searching with the disclosure. Once you have a working disclosure, you do a search to understand whether the invention can be patented. The search result, as we have already mentioned, will be dependent on the quality of the disclosure. So how hard you try or how rigorous the disclosure process will be will actually determine the quality of your search report. Now you have to identify keywords because an invention is searched through keywords. You should also find out the synonyms for keywords because if there are words which can have which can be alternatively used then you would also search the synonyms and then uh, do a search of the alternative words as well and you would also look at words used by experts as well as words used by laymen. You would normally avoid trademarks because trademarks are not used while doing a search. You would use a generic word instead of a brand name. Now during the search you are looking for certain questions or you are looking for answers to certain questions like what is the object of the invention, what is the best method of working the invention and what is the impact of the invention. Once you understand this it is easier for you to do the search because most likely a existing patent would claim the best method of its working would describe its object and the impact too. Now there are some tips for search but you would find enough amount of material in the public domain on how search has to be done. Now you would avoid synonyms for instance current can also mean present or up to date, current can also mean flow of water. So you would use boolean operators to avoid certain words which you don't want to figure in the search. You would search databases depending on the scope of your search. Now this is something which we have covered in the lesson on prior art and you would look for patterns you, by looking for once you identify certain terms through the keyword search you would look for related patterns in that field. This can also be done by using the classification code which is something which we have covered in the lesson on pattern classification. 